How's it going, everyone? Tim here, Tier Day Adventures. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Been a little bit since we got some videos. Um, today, as soon as this finishes editing up, Thursday, we're going to do a live stream uh, tonight. So come back to the channel. Tune in later. Hope to see everyone in. Always a good time to just hang out and kind of chat with everyone. You know, our live streams are pretty laid back. But in the meantime, trying to get settled in. We finished up Crawlapalooza this last weekend. Overall, the event was a last um i'm still sourcing videos and starting to get some footage and stuff pieced together for a little bit of some little video recap of it uh we'll recap crawl plaza just in general on the live stream and maybe its own little separate video as well uh but came back to a slew of parts and trying to get stuff together um for some upcoming videos so in the meantime let's get started on today's episode so one of the things i knew i had waiting for me i ordered them for a video we're going to take a stab and get a step one towards our next build. I want to do a video on it. Links. So, now, inevitably, like I said, you know, we've we've covered links in other videos. But at some point in time, further you go rabbit hole, you will at some point order your own links. Uh, custom links, high clearance, different materials, etc., etc. Now, one thing you probably see, I know I see, I uh, get messages, stuff like that. You know, people get either their first set of links from wherever um, they will get a set of used links or just, they get a set of links, just a bag of links. And it's usually the links just thrown all over the table. What do I do? Where, where do these links go? Let me see if I can help out with that a little bit. So today we're going to be using a set of links from in the works RC. So I've ordered these for an upcoming bill. Before we get too far in there, dump everything out. What are some things that will help you assemble some links? some link rod in pliers these are game changer these will make life a lot easier holding the links you know soft them so you're not worrying about scarring up the links they hold everything and they have the fancy dandy tool right there to put the links together or help pop the uh, pivot balls in the rod ends another thing i highly recommend is this rod uh in tool from team garage hack simple quarter inch drive right into whatever power tool of your choice and both are relatively cheap. Uh, Team Garage Hack. I always have Team Garage Hack linked down below in the description. And some link pliers. Now these can range. Um, this is simply just a cheap pair from Amazon. It was like eight bucks for the pliers. Now there are really nice ones. I mean, lots of companies make them. So have your fancy. Pick whichever you feel best for you. Or whatever just kind of fits in the budget. You know, you can easily fit these in the budget. But these two tools will make life and link assembly immensely immensely easier so we got our links pour a little bag off here and this is generally what we see you know hey so where's everything go so first things first let's just separate the links we'll get to those in just one minute so one thing you can start off doing is putting all these pivot balls um, in the rod ends like i said this tool Makes life easier. Now we've seen me do this in several, uh, another video where I was putting uh, links on the class one. So you got your rod end, put your pivot ball in like that. Eh, I'm not gonna do this. There we go. Tool, just like that. And boom, just like that. Simple as that. You go through, you knock out all of these and you know, get your tool orientated correctly, obviously. And just like that. Rod in simple. Cool thing, like the tool here. There's a demonstration. You have a wider end and a skinny end. Well, the wide end, just like that. Super, super amazing. Makes it very, very handy. So we'll get to the rest of those here in one second. Got all the links on the table, and it's always, you know, what goes where. Now, a lot of places, uh, including in the in Works RC, will start, um, has started, have started labeling links. But even with those um, <clears throat> links, I know Hardcore RC uses the little colored tabs, which is a super awesome feature, especially helping out new builders. But I know I've seen people get those, not pay attention to the color tabs, rip the tabs off, and then they're in the exact same situation. Oh no, what went where? So, let's simplify it down a little bit so first things first one thing you can generally point out your steering link your steering link is going to be bent there on both sides so steering link off to the side 
And now, depending on how you order your links, high clearance, straight links, some like, stuff like that, you're going to have two generally shorter than normal links. Now, one of these two links is the pin hard, and the other link is the drag length. Now, the links of these are dependent on which servo mount and pan hard mount stuff you're using. I ordered this entire link kit using the custom link selection from In The Works RC. It's super convenient. We've seen me use it in a couple of the other videos, just a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Um, it makes ordering links very, very simple. So I've ordered this for G-Speed V3. I'm using the, gonna be using the G-Speed Laydown Server Mount and the Multipoint Pan Hard. So my Pan Hard in this instance is going to be longer than my drag length because the drag length with the Laydown Server Mount is generally shorter than your standard mount. Generally, these will be equal, but again, this depends on your setup. So, but generally speaking, I know there are all, there can always be exceptions. The two shortest links here, and these can be straight or bent, custom bent uh, in these as well. Your two shortest links, that is what they're gonna be retained for. So those three links here, those are our steering links pan heart. So the next up, we have the rest of the links. So. And people always will, like this, stack links and measure. Well, the thing is, when you stack them like this, you're stacking them on top of each other, which to the eye can be deceiving and can make them look not equal. So what I always do is I take all the links and I stand them up. So at that reason, I put all the bins on one side and everything and the straight end towards the bottom. Now at this point, then we can clearly see a little bit better, you know, what links are taller and shorter than the others. So, in this links instance, made life a little bit easier for me. I ordered all my lower links in stainless steel, so they're hefty. All my upper links are aluminum. So, just by feel and look, I can tell these are upper links and these are lower links. Now, may not always be your thing, so let's just go here. Now, most, the most common will base is, I'd say, a 12.3. I think we can agree 12 3 is probably the most common wheelbase. So anywhere in around that range, um, generally the exception is when you start getting into shorter wheelbases or you're stretching both front and rear out evenly. So you take all your links and you stand them up like this. Your two longest links will be the rear lower links. Again, this is all generally speaking, just trying to help out a little bit. So. Those are our two tallest links, longest links, rear lowers. Next, the two, the next two longest links would be these two right here. Those will be the rear uppers. Also, I can tell in this because these are aluminum, so these will be my upper links. Next up, so we have three links left. So your next two longest links, which will be these two, will be your front lowers. And then your odd man out, if you're running um, <clears throat> chassis mounted servo, your next odd man out is your third front link. Now, if you're running four link, you will have two long, you will have two of this length and two of this length. So your two longest would be your lowers and your two next longest would be your uppers. Again, generally speaking, all that can vary depending on your wheelbase you choose, but you get the idea. So we have all of our links separated. We have front lowers, Front upper, rear lowers, rear upper, steering link, pan hard, and drag link. So, next up, let's put some rod ends on. So, again, this tool makes life super, super easy. So, what we're gonna do here, let's start with, uh, just start with the steering link here. So, steering link on, you're gonna just grip it firmly in there. We're gonna take one rod end, like I was showing, insert into the Team Garage Hack tool. Hope I have enough grip on here. Oh, maybe I should turn that up actually. Make sure everything's nice, even just like that. Rod end is on. Just like that. And once it's off, you know, you need an idea. You can do a little fine tune just to make sure everything's nice and even. But short, simple, and to the point. You know, just some link tips and tricks. Because 
again, that's just a common thing I see. Just scroll on the pages. People get their first set of links, rather they uh, picked up a set used, or they just got a set, and they just get everything out on the table, and then it's like, well, what goes where? So hopefully this can help. So again, generally your steering link should be the easiest one to point out, and it is your steering link. And again, one thing you can always reference if you are replacing links that are currently on your vehicle and you're staying, staying in a similar wheelbase, you can always compare just the general length here. You can see on your truck, okay, take my lowers off. Okay, these are the closest to the length there. So those are probably your lowers, your rear lowers for that specific vehicle. You know, and then your next ones, you're, like I said, you're generally your two odd man out. Um, generally straight can be bent depending on your application. Those will be your drag link pan hard. Uh, if you're running your standard, like dual servo mount stuff like that, and pan hard, those two will be equal. But in this instance, I'm using the Lando servo mount, so my drag link is shorter than my pan hard. And again, moving to lowers. Don't don't stack them like this. It's okay to stack them to organize them here, but when you're determining links, don't don't stack them there because when you stack them. You know, it can be deceiving because you are changing stuff. So right here, they're even here, but here, oh, this one's shorter. No, it's not actually shorter. It's because it's up and it's taking up that space. So stack straight here on the table, stand them up and look at them. Okay, these are clearly my longest links. Those are going to be my rear lowers. Your next two longest rear uppers. Then you should be down to three links or four links. Again, depending on your application. Your next two longest are going to be your lowers. Next two would be your last upper, both your uppers or third link. So, hopefully, that helps somebody out. In the meantime, you know, I just wanted to get a short, simple one out real quick. Plus, I need to get these assembled and get ready for the next build. So, I hope that helps out. I'm going to finish getting these assembled. We'll see the unveiling of this build, hopefully, within the next few days. Probably not this week. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I've been working on other stuff. But next week should be a full-blown new build mode. We'll get some teasers. Maybe talk about it a little bit on the live stream tomorrow night uh, or tonight. And get these ready and continue on. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel down below. In the meantime, as always, everyone have a great one. Keep building out there. Have fun and crawl on.